probably the biggest contemporary change that makes sociology interesting and exciting is, um, is the development of social media. Uh, so I study social networks, um, which have always been around. They've always been important. Um, it's just now that we have Facebook and Twitter and online dating and all these electronic platforms that, that kind of make these network ties explicit, um, people are more interested in social networks than they've ever been. And so this, this subfield that I operate in has, has slowly kind of made its way more into the public eye. Um, you know, students sign up for my class on social networks thinking they're going to get, uh, you know, 10 weeks of the social sociology of Facebook, uh, and then we do a bait and switch, and they come to realize social networks have always been around. So this is the classic uh, dilemma of the sociology major, is that, wow, uh, you know, if I don't want to kind of keep going and be an academic, if I don't want to go into social work, um, you know, what do I do with this degree? And, and I think a um, you know, degree in sociology is both a blessing and a curse for this reason. It's a curse because, uh, you know, aside from, again, social work or maybe academia, there, there's really no one or even one set of career options that sociology majors are, are destined for. Um, the flip side of that, and why it's, it's absolutely a blessing is um, is because the skills we're learning here and, and what we're learning here are so broadly applicable. Um, it's really challenging for me to think of, of any application, any profession that these tools couldn't help you in. Um, you know, essentially any uh, future career in which you're either interacting with people, working with people, where people are practically um, playing an important role in your job, uh, or analyzing, you know, people and patterns of behavior, um, the skills that we learn and, and the knowledge that we uh, hopefully impart in our students will absolutely be, uh, be helpful. So um, it's for these kinds of reasons, I think, uh, you know, taking a sociology class should be a necessity for all college majors, uh, you know, period, at, at least one to expose, um, you know, students to this type of thinking. Um, and uh, for those students who are sociology majors who have that extra bit of, of uh, you know, keen interest in, in society and social interaction, um, there's really a, a wide variety of, of ends that this degree could be uh, put to. Our faculty, you know, care about the interactions that go on in the classroom. They care about engaging students and pushing them um, to think bigger and, and broader. Um, we really enjoy working with students both in and outside the classroom in independent study and working on honors theses and independent research. Um, so I think that passion in the classroom is, is absolutely an important thing. Um, the breadth of, of uh, areas of expertise that our faculty cover, I think, is, is really um, staggering. Uh, and yet we also have some relatively clear-cut um, areas of deep expertise that, that are unlike uh, other departments. So um, I think it's, it's uh, you know, for me personally, an ideal place to be doing sociological research.